Hi again. Uh, in my last video, I explained all the general settings of WBVR. Now I'll be showing you how you can create different scenes using WBVR so that you can put your virtual tour to shape. So if I go to the scenes tab, you see it says scene 1 and you need to assign a scene ID. So I'll just assign it as scene 1. Once I've assigned that, now you'll, re you'll be required to upload an image. So make sure you have uploading, uh, make sure you're uploading a 360 panorama image for the best outcome. So I just uploaded one. Now if I click on preview, you'll see this will give me a warning. Default scene ID required, go to general settings tab and check. Basically I explained in my last video that default scene ID is the ID of that scene that will be viewed at first whenever a person goes to your virtual tour. So. Without a, a default scene ID, you cannot view your virtual tour. So let's just assign this scene as the default scene ID. So I'll just copy the scene ID, go to general and paste it in place of general uh, default scene ID. Now the scene fade duration, let me just assign it as 1000 milliseconds, which will sum up to one second. So I'll just go back to scene tab. And if I click on preview this time, it will show me a preview right here. If I click on this, you can see it generated a preview. Now let me just show you some of the general settings there as well. I'll go to general and if I turn on auto load, I'll go back to scene and click on preview. See it directly came up, it didn't ask me to click on it. So I go to general settings, turn it off again, go to scenes and click on preview again. And this time it's asking me to click on it now i'll go to general settings and turn on show controls and go back to scenes mm -hmm. click on preview and you see the buttons are over here now i can use the buttons to zoom in and zoom out i'll go to general settings and turn it off again and again i'll click on preview and the buttons are gone so now you understand how the auto load option and the show control options work, how your default scene ID works and how you can upload a picture and create a scene for your virtual tour. Now in my next video, I'll explain you the different types of hotspots that you can add. The hotspots are basically these icons where you add information or set, view, uh, set a way to go to different locations. So stay tuned to the next video.